gently lower your knees down to the floor. You can reach your hips back to your heels and we're gonna come up to kneeling. So if you took child's pose, you'll just sit up. Okay, we wanna do one more good shoulder stretch before we start to move deeper. So here's what we're gonna do. I had it in my head. Hang on just a second. Ah, yes. Stretch your right fingertips up towards the sky. You're gonna bend your right elbow, bringing your hand to the nape of your neck, just like we did a moment ago. Now our goal is to circle the left arm down and around. Eventually we're reaching for the right fingertips. Now, if you can't quite get that bind today, it's no worries. You can grab onto your t-shirt. You could use a towel or a strap or any kind of prop to you know, kind of help secure that stretch. So wherever you need to be to get into this shoulder stretch, we're gonna lift up through your chest, lift through the crown of your head, stretch the chest and the shoulders open for three, two, one, release. We're gonna circle the arms back down to center. Just take a deep breath in and out, letting yourself settle in center. Okay, then we'll circle the left arm up. Yeah. Bending into your elbow, we'll reach the right arm down and around, reaching for the bind. Now, it is not unusual for people to be able to do one side and not the other. So don't beat yourself up, just be with what is, okay? Lift up through your chest, lift up through the crown of your head and just breathe into your best stretch. That's all you need to do. Just be with your body and take care of it here. And we'll slowly release, circling the hands down. Reach your fingertips to the front edge of your mat. We're gonna bring the forearms down onto the floor, interlacing your hands, uh, squeezing the palms together. You're gonna to press down through your forearms and lift your hips up. Coming into a dolphin pose. Again, we won't stay here for too long. We really wanna just get the shoulders good and stretched out. So we'll open through the chest, reaching your heart towards your legs. Really press the shoulders open here for three, two, one, and we'll lower your knees down and make your way on into that child's pose. Take a few deep breaths in this resting pose. Just kind of collect your energy, collect yourself before we work into deeper waters. Ah, gently walk yourself back up and we're gonna make your way into your down dog. You're just slowly making your way there. We rise the hips high, opening through your chest and shoulders. Let's inhale and lift your right heel high, coming into that tripod. As you exhale, we're gonna step the right foot to the outside of your right hand. So we actually step the right foot a little wider than you normally would. Okay, you can lower your left knee down Let's see, step one, we'll rotate the right toes about 45 degrees open to the side. Then bend into your elbows, lowering the chest down towards the floor. You can come onto the left forearm. Then bring your right hand to the inside of your right knee. Begin to press the right knee away, and you may even roll onto the outer edge of your left foot. Okay, you can stay here, totes can stay here. <laughs> if you wanna take it into a quad stretch for this last moment, bend your left knee, reach back with your right hand, take a hold of the top of the foot and pull your left heel in towards your hip. Roll your shoulders back, open through your chest. Three, two, one. Release the left foot if you have it. Come back around to center. We're gonna walk your right foot to its kind of normal position where you would normally be in a lunge. Then glide your hips back, extending your right leg straight. 
Take an inhale to lift and extend through your spine. Draw your tailbone back. Exhale and gently fold your body down here. Just coming right back into that forward fold. Let's inhale to lift and extend through your heart. And then from here, walk your right foot across to the left edge of your mat. So we're keeping the leg extended. It's just crossing the midline, kind of like when we were laying down in the beginning. Inhale to lift your heart up. Then as you exhale, you can fold your body down here, working into the IT band. Yes. Draw back on the right hip, giving yourself that counter stretch. Slow down your breathing. Get into the flow. And inhale and lift your heart up. We're going to keep the right foot where it is. Just shift your weight forward towards the right knee, right? So we're coming to the front of the mat, just shifting your way right into your pigeon pose. Now, pigeon pose is a challenging one, and there's a lot going on here. So first of all, I want to tell you, if your hips don't want to come down, that's okay. Tuck your back toes, engage the strength of your legs, and whoop, lift yourself up. You can always use props. If you have a cushion or a pillow, you can bring it underneath the right hip. So you kind of support yourself there. You can also use your hands to press yourself up. And I'm a big fan of this upright variation. A lot of times in pigeon pose, we go to fold forward, which is great. It's an awesome stretch, totally valid. But there's something to be said when we stay upright, the weight of gravity pulls our torso down to the earth so it actually assists you into a deeper stretch. Okay, so for some of you, you need to just practice this right here, right now. Some of you, if you are feeling comfortable, you know, relatively comfortable in this pigeon pose, you can bend into your left knee, reach back with that left hand, and start to pull the heel in. Okay, and then from here you have variations. You can stay right here just like this. You can reach the right arm up and over, reaching towards the toes. Whew. You could bring the left hand down and roll your chest towards the sky. And then eventually the left hand comes up and over, okay? So you have steps along the way. One, two, three different steps. Take one more breath where you are. If you have that king variation, go ahead and release the foot down. Then we're all gonna fold forward just for two or three good breaths. Just release, let yourself fold down over that right leg. By now the stretch is getting really deep. Take one more full breath. And slowly press yourself up. Okay, we're gonna plant the hands on the mat. Lift your left knee off the floor, push and lift your hips and sweep that left, that right foot up and circle it around. So you can just kind of mobilize the hip in the hip socket, just rolling the leg around. Whew. Okay, then we'll release your right foot to the floor. Take a deep, full cycle of breath, preparing mentally. <laughs> for the second side. Okay, then we'll inhale and lift the left heel high and exhale to step to the outside of your left hand. And then we'll go ahead and lower the right knee down and then rotate the left toes 45 degrees open to the side. Bend into your elbows and the right forearm can come down. Then we'll bring your left hand to the inside of your knee. Begin to press that knee away. Whew. You can even open your chest towards the front. Roll your shoulders back and really lean into that stretch. 
Now you can definitely stay here. This is a great stopping point to stretch the inner hip and outer rotators. If you wanna get into the quad stretch, you can bend the right knee, reach back with the left hand, see if you can grab the top of the foot and gently, nice and easy now, slowly start to pull the heel in towards the hip. Roll your chest open, look towards the sky. Take one more full round of breath right where you are and we'll slowly release and come back to the front. Press yourself up and walk your foot, your left foot to, you know, its normal lunge position. And we'll glide the hips back, extending through your left leg. Take an inhale to reach your heart forward. Then exhale and fold down. So just kind of coming back into that hamstring stretch, revisiting breathing and creating more and more space then we'll inhale and lift to extend through your spine now we're going to walk the left foot across to the right edge of your mat so really working to take it across to the edge keeping the left knee extended slowly start to fold your body down over the left leg we get right into the it band maybe feeling some stretch around the attachments at the knee Maybe getting something in the outer hip. You know, there's any number of places that could be awakened by this posture. Now we're gonna move from here into our pigeon pose. So let's inhale to extend and lift up the heart. As you exhale, you begin to shift your weight forward, opening the left leg bringing the shin down to the floor. And then you have all kinds of options to help you here. Toe on the strength of your legs and lift yourself up if you need to. Use your hands to help support your weight. Use a cushion or a prop to support underneath the left hip. You have all kinds of ways to you know, work into this pose. Try lifting up the chest, stacking your shoulders over your hip, practicing this upward variation. Many people need to just stay here, like this is a, an excellent pose. Some bodies that are more open can start to bend into the right knee and reach back for the right foot. So this could be a good stopping point, just pulling the foot in. And then of course you have other variations from here, possibly reaching the left arm up and over. That's why we did all of that shoulder work. You can bring the right hand to the floor and start to roll your shoulders around to the front. Then eventually the right hand can come up and over. So you just play with it wherever you are, okay? Then we're all gonna come into that forward folded position. So slowly make your way back to center and we'll walk your hands out in front of you, slowly folding over your leg. So just feel yourself release here. And even if the stretch is still intense, even if it's still, you know, uh, challenging, find your breath, even in the midst of a challenge. and slowly begin to walk your hands in. Now this time we're gonna plant your hands down, lift the right knee, lift your hips. <clears throat> Sweep the, right, the left leg up and swirl it around. We're just mobilizing that leg. Anything that feels good, anything goes here. And when you feel complete, you can lower the left foot down to the floor. Take one full good round of breath in your downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale. Exhale a deep breath out. And walk your feet forward to the top of your mat. Sink your hips down to the floor. Hug your knees into your chest and roll yourself down onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a good deep squeeze. Ah. And we'll slowly extend your legs out in front of you. <clears throat> and 
just wiggle your legs and your hip sockets a little bit, just kind of shaking out the legs here. Oh, oh. <laughs> and when you feel ready, you just let it relax, letting the feet fall open to the sides and the hips completely unwind. Make any little micro adjustments that you need to let yourself settle comfortably into your mat. And just take a little inventory here and notice how your body is feeling. And just check in with yourself. How did you do in your practice today? Did you really show up and do your best? Did you listen to your body and take a break when you needed to? Did you discover a new edge? Did you learn something about yourself? Just take these moments to reflect on your practice. Feel the weight of your body sinking into the earth and just notice if there's any remaining tension, any remaining activity in the muscles. See if you can let it go. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Coming back into this plane of existence. Coming back into this body. You can roll your wrists and ankles around, almost as if you were discovering this body for the first time. Stretch your arms up over your head. Stretch and grow long. Then gently roll yourself to the side. And you can begin to press yourself up into a seat. 